fajitas, fajitas. I'm in love with fajitas, fajitas. Guess what is happening today? <laughs> I'm so excited because we. You're always excited when I cook. Fajitas. Mama Bee's making fajitas. How you doing? Mama Bee making fajitas. Hi everybody. Fajitas is one of our favorite meals. And whenever we go out for dinner and I see the cost of fajitas in restaurants, I'm like, what? You can make it at home. And it's so fun for the family to eat. So that's what we're making tonight for dinner. Yes. And that's what you're having with us. <laughs> the arsenal. These are Mama Bee's special spices in her special spices drawer. Can you say special spices drawer three times fast? Special spices drawer, special dressers. Oh, look at all that chicken. Look at all those chickens. That's right, Miss Monkey. Those are chickens. Can you make a chicken sound? Move. That's right, Miss Monkey. <laughs> Fajita. It's a little strip. Place of origin, Mexico and the United States. All right. Now I am a fajita historian. So I like to give my chicken a rinse okay. before I start cutting. So this chicken I got for $27. This is a lot of chicken. That's a lot of chicken. Right? Whereas normally you go to a restaurant and that's what you would pay for one person. Wow. For fajita. Easily. Seven breasts. Chicken okay. breasts. All washed. Full well, rinsed. Uh, rinse. You rinse them. Yeah, you don't wash because them. Because <laughs> if I if I wash these chickens, I would reach for the soap and then Mama B would slap my hand. First thing, you are going to cut them into strips. Okay. Not thick. That's a nice piece of chicken. It's not thick at all because you don't want it to take a long time to cook. This is like super thick. Yeah. So I'm going to cut that in half. Okay, so don't cut the fajitas too thin or too thick. Right. Just right. Right. See, and when you have like little pieces of fat like that, just trim that off. Get that fat out of here. Right. Beat it fat. We're gonna have a lot of stuff to put on top of the fajitas. And we're gonna make it healthy and fun for the kids. You wanna count it down? Three, two, one. Whoa, Mama B, you are the fastest chopper in the world. Yeah, right. That's all the chicken there, look at that. That's a, a lot of protein. Lot of chicken. If you handle chicken, it's very important to wash your hands. If you're eating peanuts, you just have to do this. <laughs> you're not touching my food now. The spices that I like to add to my fajitas are, and this is all half a teaspoon, okay? Uh, ground cumin, garlic powder, onion powder, oregano, paprika, and chili powder. Or you can cheat. And you can buy one of these little sachets right here. <laughs> don't tell anybody. This has a lot of that stuff. If you don't have all of those spices, you can just grab a quick pack of this, taco or fajita, add it to your chicken. It's super easy, but I like to use the actual spices. Okay. All right, and of course, salt and pepper to season your chicken. Yes. This is a lot of chicken. Okay. So I wanna make sure my chicken is nice and salted. A lot of bit right? of salt. Yeah. Just get, get it all up in there. Yes. Pepper. Paprika for the freakas. Paprika for the freakas. Yeah. Paprika for the freakas. You can't go wrong with paprika. Can I tell you? If you make chicken, roasted chicken with lemon, easy lemon juice, lemon zest, and paprika. Mm. And this is oregano. Oregano, because I had no idea what you were doing. That's right? oregano. Nice. Look at all that right? chicken. Because you don't want to like knock your guests out with the onion powder and the garlic powder. So mm -hmm. you definitely want to measure this one. Okay and for sure the chili. That was onion powder and this is mm -hmm. garlic powder. Garlic powder. Okay. This is gonna make it smell so good. Chili powder. Chili powder. Chili powder. I'm just gonna massage that into my chicken. Oh, that's like a spa. Make sure it all has the lovely spices equally. Finito. That looked pretty easy. I'm gonna start cooking the chicken while I chop my onions and peppers. Do you need to use this thing in the jingy for anything? Not today. Oh, okay. Not today. One's for chicken, one's for vegetables. All right, I'm assuming okay. this one's for chicken. Wrong. Okay, I'm assuming that one's for chicken. Yes. Okay. So, I'm gonna put some oil. I like to use canola for everything. Canola. You can use vegetable if you like. You know why? Because when it starts the... smelling good, you can say, holy canola. And it's gonna go to medium. You don't wanna burn your chicken. You want it to cook properly. 
through. You don't want any raw chicken, no salmonella. No salmonella. Alright. Lower that a little bit. Oh, that smells amazing. I like to cook my chicken and my vegetables separately because I want to make sure each item is cooked properly. And onion. Oh, there she is, the knife wielding maniac I call my wife. I mean, knife wielding. No. You are very quick again. Whoa. I love to get colorful peppers orange, yellow, red, green. Look at that. I rinsed them already. Okay. Okay. So now you're gonna cut out the stem in the middle and the seeds. Make sure you clean it nicely. So you wanna remove all of these white parts from your pepper. That's a nice clean pepper right there. All the peppers are clean. Okay. And so I'm gonna show you what size approximately to cut your peppers. Okay. That's like that. Size. Okay. Not gigantic chunks, mm -hmm. not so thin right. that it burns. Ah, uh, yes, because if it's too thin, you're eating the product. I don't like burned peppers or no. onions. Ugh. I still like my vegetables a little crunchy. Peppers, chop it. Whoa! Done. You're a wizard. This is a massive onion. It's a huge onion. I know, that's because we love onion. But the monkeys are not crazy about onion. Even though you have to have onion when you cook. I'm not gonna go crazy on the onions, even though I love a lot of onions. Okay. And that's what I've done. So now, you're gonna have... Oh, they're like strips. The strips. That's a big pile of goodness right there. Mm -hmm. And now it goes in. Mm -hmm. Everything. and pepper. That's a nice sizzle. Okay. Check on my chicken. See how much oh. they've cooked down? Yep, they're looking amazing. Right? How long did that take? This took about, because I like to slow cook my things, it took about 10 minutes for the peppers and the onions. Wow. Oh, you're putting the chicken right in there? Right. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's get that chicken in there. There's your chicken fajitas. Look at that. Oh, oh my wow. goodness. Oh my Look goodness. Look at those beautiful colors from the peppers. Now's the fun part because you're gonna start chopping everything you wanna put on top of your chicken and peppers. So, lettuce, avocados. Okay. I like to cut these into slices. Tomatoes, salsa. Salsa. And we love our sour cream. We put sour cream on everything. There you go. Very thin slices. Very thin. We like to dice ours. So we like ours like this in squares. You can have it in slices if you like. All I'm gonna do with this, with the avocado, Oh, it's a beautiful Oh, color. Look, look at that. that color. There we go. Magic. So I'm gonna scoop this out. Scoop out your avocado. You're gonna slice. Slice. White tortillas, okay. originals. I got whole wheat because I, mama always has to have whole wheat. And sun-dried tomato. Heat them up in the microwave or I like to put them in some foil okay. inside the oven. And heat them up 350, five, 10 minutes. Just get them nice and, uh, and warm. So this is now the process of putting together the fajita. Right. So we're gonna get some beautiful onions, peppers, mm. chicken. And you don't wanna fill it too high because then you're gonna get all your toppings. So you can put dollops of sour cream mm -hmm. or you can spread it on. Salsa. Salsa. Very nice. Put your lettuce, your tomatoes. Mm. You got your avocado. And of course, top it off with a little bit of off cheese. With your cheese. Oh, that is amazing. You can add jalapenos, you can add hot sauce, whatever you want. Oh, look how amazing that looks. There it is. Wow. Mama B, you have outdone yourself yet again with 
the fajitas. I hope you enjoy and if you make it, please tag me in your pictures. I love seeing your pictures when you make the food that I prepare. From my kitchen to yours, enjoy. I hope you love it. Let me know if you make it. Papa. Yes. A comer. <gasps> Monkeys. I'm eating a fajita. You guys want to watch me eat a fajita? Well, we only got one right now, so I'm gonna eat it. You guys can like watch me eat it if you want. Where were you? I was cooking this fajita the whole time. You were in the back, you were so you not don't, cooking. Mama you don't get to eat this fajita. I do. Feels good here. Look at this. The monkey. Everyone shows up when the food is ready. I I was here from the beginning. I'm an OG fajita. -er. I was in the house from the beginning. Is it gird? A gird. It's very gird. What'd you put in your fajita? <laughs> <laughs> I hate it when I'm at a restaurant and then the waiter comes and like waits until I take a bite out of my food and then he and then he starts asking questions. So how's your food this evening, ma'am? Boy. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions for another Mama Bee Cooks. I'm gonna enjoy my fajita right now and I'm gonna... That was mine. Yeah, y'all. Thanks for watching everybody. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click on the icon on the left and a little thingy will pop up and you get to subscribe. If you already have subscribed, please forget everything that I have just said. It's that voice. It's my radio voice. Bye.